All right then, so now we have our shuffled cards stored in this bit of state right here. What I'd like to do is cycle through that bit of state and I'd like to output a bit of template for each card so they're displayed in some kind of grid. So let's come down here below this button, let's create another div and this is going to have a class of card hyphen grid just so we can style that shortly. And then inside here, I want to map through our cards state, that array of cards. So curly braces and then cards dot map. And then inside here, we take each individual card in that array and we're going to return some template inside parentheses for that card. So I'm going to create a div first of all. Let me close that off. Now remember, the parent element has to have a key property. So the key is going to be equal to the card ID, card.id. And remember, we added that property on right here where we use this map method. So that's the card key. And then we also need a class name. Again, just so that later on we can style this if we want to. So that is going to be card. And then inside this div, I want to do another div first of all and this div is going to hold two things it's going to hold two images basically the front image of the card so that's going to be whatever the source is up here it could be the helmet the potion the ring etc and then also the back of the card which remember is the cover this thing right here so first of all i want the front of the card so let me do that image and then it's going to have a source which is dynamic and it's going to be card.source remember that was the property name up here that we have on each card so that's the image source right and then also i'm going to give this a class so let's do a class name before that and that's going to be front that's the front of the card the actual picture and an alt is going to be card front all right so that's the first image Let's also do the back, so another image tag, and then the source this time is not going to be dynamic, it's just going to be forward slash image, which is this image folder right here, and then forward slash cover dot PNG. All right, so remember that's this thing right here, that's the back of the card. Now again, I'm going to give this a class, so class name is equal to back, just so we can style this later on, and then the alt is going to be card back all right so this now should hopefully all work i'm going to save this and preview in a browser all right then so now we can see all of those cards down here the front and the back of each one and notice when we click on new game it's going to shuffle the cards and the order is going to be different each time around so that's working as well now it currently looks pretty crap it looks terrible so let's add some css to make this look a bit better so what I'm going to do is open up the app.css file over here and then at the bottom just paste in one more rule and it targets the card grid class. So that's this div right here surrounding all of the different cards. So what I do is I give that a margin top of 40 pixels and I display it as grid. And then I say grid template columns, one fraction, one fraction, one fraction, one fraction. So what this basically does is say, look, display the cards inside this div as a grid and i basically want four different columns so there's going to be four cards in a row each the same fraction of the web page or the space available and then the gap between each column is going to be 20 pixels so let's give this a whirl and in a browser that's starting to look a little bit better they're in a grid now now, at the minute, we're still showing both the front and the back of each card, but later on, we're going to hide the front to begin with and just show the back of each card. And then when you click on the back of a card, it flips to show the front. But for now, this is fine.